right, guys, I am going to do the last box opening. I have got the Dai Di Motos. I can never say it correct. Day of the Dead um, outfit, celebrations outfit, and Mary Ellen's costume. I'm going to go ahead and do this first. That there. Um, so I do still have all, I now have, again, all the celebration outfits. Um, last year when they came out with the first, I believe, six, I bought all of them. Except for the Christmas one, which I'm regretting. And I know that this year they have that Janie and Jack Christmas one. I got the boy Janie and Jack, but I don't know. Unless I get a deal on it, I'm not going to. I'm passing on that one. I just I can't bring myself to pay that much for it. So anyways, let's start out with Mary Ellen's Halloween costume. First off, we got these cute little red cowboy boots with a white star embroidered in the side. Um, they do have the Velcro down the back. And these are very well made. These are like the pleather material. Unlike some boots that they had come out that were plasticky. Um, I know the one Halloween costume last year, the witch had plastic boots and the hiking outfit has the plastic boots but a lot of people complained about them and when they came out with the witch costume this year they ultimately changed it to uh, back to the pleather or um, cloth boots because a lot of people were complaining and I fully agree those plastic boots were very um, my life as or our generation type shoes um, a lot of people don't like the plasticky shoes. Uh, personally, I don't care for them either. They look very cheap. And for the price that you pay for American Girl outfits, I agree. They need to be a higher quality than a $10 My Life As outfit or a $15 uh, Our Generation outfit. And next we've got a really cute red felt hat. It's got a white um, string around a tie. Um, and then the brim of the hat is also white. And it's a red velvet, not velvet, <coughs> excuse me, um, felt. Very cute. And then we've got Mary Ellen's shirt, the shirt that goes with it, the cowboy shirt. And this is a really nice one. It's a button down one. It's got faux pearl, um, mother of pearl buttons on it. The actual, mo the most of the shirt is a red and white gingham. The back of the shirt has this like um, denim looking back to the upper shoulder, upper back area that comes around onto the front of the shirt. And on the front, we've got two embroidered horses with like a little detail. And then we've got a white fringe that attaches to the bottom of that denim. And then we have got a just blue denim skirt. And then we do have Mary Ellen, 1954. And it has, like many kids in the 50s, Mary Ellen Larkin is fascinated by the Wild West. She loves to pretend she's a hero at the Wild West Adventures, riding a horse to deliver medicine or save the town from bandits, just like the shows she watches. For Halloween, Mary Ellen dresses up as a cowgirl with her Western-style hat, fringed shirt, denim skirt, and cowboy boots. She's all set for a rugging trick-or-treat adventure. Over the summer, Mary Ellen had a real-life adventure on her family's road trip out west. She admired the geysers at Yellowstone and walked in Davy Crockett's footsteps at the Alamo. Okay, those are two very far apart places. Okay. Now, in her cowgirl duds on Halloween, she'll swagger along the streets of Daytona Beach neighborhood, of her Daytona Beach neighborhood with her friends. Mary Ellen's dog Scooter tots along uh, with her when she goes trick-or-treating. So she pretends Scooter is a cow pony. 
Hi-ho, Scooter, she says, intimidating her favorite cowboy on TV. Let's see what kind of vittles we can rustle up at the next house. Howdy, partner. And it's a picture of her wearing her outfit. And then there is a picture of a television, um, a station wagon pulling an RV, and then her dog, Scooter. And then on the back, just as a little thank you. Piggy, quiet. Piggy. And I'll put that back in the box. And next we will open up the Day of the Dead outfit. Since I am bad at Spanish and cannot... I cannot say it no matter how I try to say it. It's a beautiful outfit. Uh, I know that, and these seem to be very well made. Oh my gosh, this. Guys, if you're thinking of getting this outfit, do it. This one is like super, super, super well made. Oh, just the, the feeling of it. Okay. Excuse me, miss. Piggy! She is looking at herself in the window, growling at herself. Okay, so we'll start with the dress. Oh my gosh, guys, this is like heavy, heavy fabric. It's like a very, it's got a lot of weight to it. Um, it's a very beautiful dress. It's like a traditional Mexican dress. And it's got lots of vibrant flower detail to it and hot pinks and bright yellows and neon blues and some neon green leaves on a black background. It is so beautiful. It's got this beautiful um, yellow bow to tie at the waist. And then it comes up and it has a an off the shoulder. So there's two black straps to hold on to the doll, but it's an off the shoulder dress. And then it's got like the ruffle with the roses around the shoulder and around the bodice. And guys, it's, it's hard. It's hard to describe how beautiful this is, but it is very well made. Like you can see on the inside, the embroidery. So this, this was not, uh, compared to like the Chinese dress that's made with that really cheap fabric that to me feels like a tablecloth. This is worth the money. If you're on the fence about it, it is a very, very nicely well-made dress. I can tell you that right now. And it comes with this headband that is braided and it's neon, it's hot pink, bright yellow, and like a neon blue. And it has a yellow, I think they're marigolds, um, flower, I believe is what they use for Day of the Dead. Then we have the mask that goes around the doll's face and it is a white plastic mask and it's to make the face look like a sugar skull so it's got the around the eyes hot pink with white dots in it um painted and then there's a blue motif with some black and um eyebrows and a black nose and then some yellow and blue dots around the mask For shoes, we've got these really beautiful um, blue flats that looks like they kind of come up and around. So you slide the toes in and then there's an elastic that goes in around the feet so it kind of comes up on the ankle. And they're really pretty blue. Then we have a candle. The only thing I wish they would have done is like a little bit of an ofrienda, uh, or parts for an ofrienda. So they do have a little candle that you would have for Day of the Dead. And it's just got a yellow bottom with yellow roses and then a faux flame on the top. And it has a handle for the doll to carry. And then we've got a sugar skull. I was trying to figure out when it came. I had seen pictures of the dress, but not the accessories. And then I saw this and I'm like, what the heck was it? Then I realized what it was. But it is this little teeny tiny 
um, skull. It's a sugar skull. So it's got neon orange, some aqua, and hot pink and yellow detail to it, painted on it, and like sugar skull type patterns. And then we've got the cultural celebrations book for it. We've got Christmas, Denali, Dwanali, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, Ed Elfitter, Lunar New Year, and then Die de Mutus, or Day of the Dead, isn't time for being sad. It's a colorful celebration on November 1st and 2nd. Families in Mexico, Latin America, and all over the world honored loved ones who have died. They decorate ofriendas or altars with photos, foods, candles, marigolds, so I was right, um, and sugar skulls to guide the spirits home. People honor the dead with face painted or masks that look like culverters or skulls which remind them which remind people to celebrate the vibrancy of life families visit the graves and enjoy food and pandy mortos are bread of the dead it is a special time for families to celebrate together before ancestors return to the spirit world so um if anybody is kind of curious about day of the dead uh Coco is a very good movie to watch that explains it. So my kids absolutely love Coco. They were a little sad that we were actually in Reno this year, so we weren't able to actually celebrate. So the first year, uh, we do have things to celebrate. I do have a plate that we have for an offering, and then... Um, this year, we, like I said, we weren't able to celebrate because we were in Reno, Nevada. But um, we have some pictures of my dad and some pictures of other family members that we put up. And we can't put a whole lot of food out because between the animals, they try to eat it. Uh, but we do celebrate and remember our family members that have are no longer with us. So I hope you enjoyed this box opening. This was the last one for my current American Girl haul, but I will see you all in the next video. Bye!